Before we dive in into the practical sections, let's talk a little bit about how to analyze open-ended questions with ChatGPT. An open-ended question is a type of question that allows respondents to provide a detailed, unrestricted answer in their own words, rather than selecting from a set of predefined options. For example, in a customer feedback survey, a question like, what did you like the most about our service? In an employee survey, how can we improve the workplace environment? In an interview, can you describe a challenging situation you face and how you handle it? And in a research, what are your thoughts on the current economic situation? And ChatGPT can help us to analyze the open-ended question in four ways. 1. ChatGPT can categorize the responses. 2. ChatGPT can summarize the responses. 3. Also, it can identify the trends and the pattern. And 4. We can also extract the key insights from the data. And remember, there are challenges and considerations when using ChatGPT to analyze the open-ended question. 1. You need to ensure that ChatGPT accurately interprets the context of responses or your data. 2. Always involves the human and academic oversight in the analysis process. 3. Never 100% rely on ChatGPT result. Always do double-checking after obtaining the result with literature review. Now, let's get practical. In this case, I already prepared 100 responses about customer feedback on a chocolate product. Here, of course, this is a fictitious data. And also, I prepared the prompt example that you can also copy and paste it into your own dataset in ChatGPT. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is copy and paste your data into the ChatGPT website. Let's select the data here until uh, the last part of uh, our data press ctrl c and move it into the chat gpt site right click and then select paste as plain text okay the data is pasted you can also attach the data by clicking the attachment icon but um, i prefer to paste the data like this and let's copy the prom example that i prepared before into this chat gpt window okay let's get back into the editing mode and we want to categorize the responses from the open-ended question above let me copy the from here press ctrl c and ctrl v you can also modify and customize this from according to your needs don't forget at the first sentence you need to define what role the chat gpt will be in this case, I want ChatGPT to be a data analyst. So, I define the ChatGPT as data analyst. You are a data analyst. I will give you the list of the data above. About. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's uh, delete the explanation here about the customer feedback on chocolate product. And you need to categorize it. Summarize the data in quantitative form, make the table output in table format, count the frequency of the category, add the total row at the bottom, add the sample responses of the column, and also make the category as needed as possible. You can also add another uh, prompt into this uh, sentence according to your own needs. Okay, let's run this prompt. Just wait. Okay, great. We have uh, the data or the output in table format. Rich and creamy. Okay. To sweet, we have uh, seven frequency. Perfect balance for uh, seven frequency and so on. I think uh, this response is too much or too many categories to analysis. I prefer to simplify the response of this data let's try to simplify the output by making it like a satisfaction survey the prompt is like this make the output in simple format simplify the categories into five sections Let's make it in very positive. 
positive, neutral, negative, and also very negative. Okay, let's run this prompt and see what happened in ChatGPT uh, window. Great, we have very positive uh, responses in 25 frequency and the sample responses is absolutely fine. Melt in your moment instantly. Okay, positive uh, about 30, neutral is 20, negative 15, and very negative is 10. I think this is a simple form to summarize our open-ended questions and you can also define it based on your own need you can make uh, five categories three or even seven or more uh, the most important thing is make sure you had a literature review before categorization process okay now let's try to summarize the responses based on uh, this output let's copy this prompt generate the summaries or key points of the data above and then let's run the prompt just wait let me maximize the window okay we have very positive in 25% of the responses positive 30% of response neutral 20% negative 15% and very negative 10% of responses great this is a great uh, report that you can analyze of the open under responses and then Let's try to identify the trends and patterns by copying this uh, prompt into ChatGPT. Okay, let's run this uh, command. Just wait, we have the trends in positive experience dominates. Okay, great. This is really a life saving method. So we don't have to do the iterative process in analyzing open ended questions imagine you have 100 or more or maybe 1000 responses and you have to analyze it one by one okay really great and let's go into the last prompt that we can use is extract the external insight from the data press ctrl c and paste it into the chat gpt uh, window let's run this prompt okay based on the analysis of the customer feedback here are the actionable insights okay ChatGPT suggests you to focus on maintaining and highlighting core strength address specific texture issues improve flavor integration enhance packaging and delivery we evaluate pricing strategy leverage positive feedback in marketing okay i think this is a really great uh, review or uh, analysis in open-ended question you can make a report based on this uh, output in chat GPT and remember don't forget always use literature review or academic review so you don't rely 100% in this output because chat GPT can be wrong remember chat GPT is only your assistant not the main brain of your analysis process I think that's all See you in the next video.